Hi, and Bwana Yesu asifiwe. If there is a topic that has captivated people over the centuries, I believe even our forefathers, it is the topic on love. I mean, man has gone to the moon, man has visited other planets, man has understood human anatomy, but love is still a mystery. Even scientists have not been able to explain it. Poets are still trying to describe it. But I mean, be glad because you and I have both experienced love because God's love is constant. Welcome to today's live series as we learn how to love. My name is Wangeshin Derito. Karibu sana. When I was looking at the topic, learning how to love, I was interested in finding out if there's any particular formula on how to love. And so it made me look at uh, different stories in the Bible, but I'm going to use three or refer to three that uh, we can walk through together and see if we can learn how to love from man and if there's any particular formula on how to go about it. And the very first story I looked at is the story of our parents, that's Adam and Eve. Adam, the Bible records that Adam fell into deep sleep and God made Eve out of Adam's rib. So we, it is correct to say that Eve was taken from Adam. And immediately Adam looked at Eve. These were the words that he used, that this is the bone of my bones and this is the flesh of my flesh. To show that Adam fell hard and fell in love immediately with Eve. And then I, look at, I looked at the story of uh, Jacob. And of course, we know that Jacob married two wives, that is Leah and Rachel, who are sisters. He actually uh, saw Rachel when he had gone to visit his uncle Laban. And immediately he saw Rachel, he fell hard and fell hard for her. And after he fell hard for her, he told his uncle Laban that he would work for him for seven years so that he would marry uh, Rachel. But as the customs were, he was deceived and was given Leah for a wife and he sacrificed another seven years to marry Rachel. I mean, he had to work for 14 years to marry the very one woman that he really loved. And then I looked at the story of Ruth and Boaz. I mean, Ruth was taking care of her mother-in-law, Naomi. I mean, being her responsibility, she went to glean in the field so that she could take care of the mother-in-law. And the very particular field that she gleaned in was uh, Boaz's land or Boaz's field, who immediately took notice of her. And I mean, we can see the very special favors that uh, he gave uh, uh, to, to Ruth. He allowed her to even you know draw water from his uh to draw water from his well he also allowed her to feed from his table and we can see different favors and of course naomi understanding what was going on she gave you know some tips to ruth on how to even draw closer to boaz looking at these three stories i wondered is really is there really a formula on how to love adam fell in love immediately Jacob fell in love at the very first sight. Boaz learned how to love by looking at how Ruth behaved or carried herself. And it made me realize that there's no formula on learning how to love. But we have a perfect example of love who is God our Father. The Bible says in 1 John 4, 7 that God is love. He himself is love and he is the most perfect example of love. I mean, he gave us his only son, Jesus, to die for us who are born sinners. You know, we were born sinners, but Jesus had no sin at all. But he gave us that only son who had no sin, who had no blemish to die for you and I who are born sinners. And if we want to learn how to love, we can only learn it from our Father in heaven, who is the most perfect example of love. Look at Adam and Eve. They fell into sin in the Garden of Eden. But when God went to visit them, and of course he already knew that they had sinned, he did not destroy them. He just gave them another, another chance because he's God of love. 
when when the children of Israel sinned multiple times against God, every time they came back to God repentant, he would forgive them and deliver them from their uh, from the from the from the things that they were going through at that particular moment in the various times that they sinned against God. And then of course Jesus gave his life for us so that we would be free. I mean, if you want to learn how to love, you can only look at God. You can only pray to God to help you learn on how to love because he himself is love and he is the most perfect example of love. If today you do not know who Christ is and if you do not know or don't believe in the works of the cross, it is the high time that you did so. And if you'd like to walk in the journey of salvation, if you'd like to give your life to Christ, please reach out to the numbers on, our, on your screens right now. I'm sure somebody is waiting to just, you know, take you through the journey of salvation and you'll experience God's love immeasurably in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for joining us today on today's live series as we learned how to love from God. Thank you so much. Baraka.